So far, the race to figure out what's ailing racehorse muscles and spice has been slow out of the gate. Our results on the treadmill didn't really explain why muscles and spice would be having poor performance. So the next step is definitely to check for gastric ulcers, and hopefully that'll give us some answers. To do that, Aria and the team will send a camera down the horse's throat. It's an uncomfortable but necessary procedure. The scope gets put into the nose so that as we're passing it, we're able to look at the airway going into the back of the throat and then the esophagus going all the way down to the stomach. And then we're able to look in the entire stomach as well. Compared to humans, horses' stomachs are much more prone to ulcers. Files, files are nasty. The scope are definitely bleeding. So we actually found grade four ulcers in muscles and spice, and grade four is the most severe level that they can have. So we were able to see active bleeding from the ulcers in his stomach. If it were just the surface area covered by them, I think a three would be good. Okay. But the fact they're actively bleeding makes me give them a four. In humans, chewing stimulates the production of hydrochloric acid for digestion but a horse's stomach constantly produces acid. Racehorses commonly experience gastric ulceration due to their high athletic level and their uh, feeding schedule. You can imagine a horse running, there's a lot of motion going on and they splash that juice up onto the unprotected part of the stomach. All right, come on out. Nice job. What we're going to use in Muscles and Spice is basically sort of an antacid. It's um, similar to what you might use in a human. So we'll go this way, and then just, yep. The prescription for muscles and spice? Rest and relaxation. 